Hi, boys and girls. The mobile phone is a superb invention. We can do so many things with our mobile phones. Besides receiving calls, we can check our emails, access social media accounts, and do internet banking. Many people are selling and buying using various apps on the mobile phones too. Isn't that marvelous? So today, we are going to discover how technology can help us write an essay. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify thesis statement, topic sentence, and supporting details from the text. Write a response essay. Now, let's watch this short video to know what a response essay is. Hello folks, welcome to another session with me, another evening with Julia. Today, we have three famous influencers with us. I have here in the studio with me, Miss Maria, Miss Suzanne and Miss Hena. I'm going to let our guests introduce themselves. Now, who would like to start? Thank you, Julia. Hi, I am Susan. Hi, I'm Maria. I'm glad to be here. Hello, I'm Hannah. Thank you for inviting me here today. So, let's get started. Maria, which social media platform do you find yourself actively involved in? It has to be Facebook. This app allows me to connect with all my family members and friends across the globe. It is the most popular social networking app now. I can't agree more. It is a very popular app indeed. What about you, Susan? Thanks, Julia. I am an active Twitter user. It's an American microblogging and social networking service where users can post and interact with messages that we call tweets. Users can post, like and retweet tweets through this platform. That's brilliant. What about you, Hannah? Which application do you use often? Well, I spend a lot of my time making and posting videos on TikTok. I can create short music, lip sync and dance. I can also upload comedy and talent videos up to 60 seconds. It's the in thing now. Thank you everyone. Last week, our guests have been given similar products to sell using their favourite social media apps and they were given one week. Today, we are going to find out who has the highest number of sales. This is so exciting! Wow! I hope I can win this challenge. I have posted and shared a lot of information on my Facebook wall and sent messages to all my FB friends about the products. I have the result with me. Let's hear the drum roll before I announce the results. We will find out the results in a short while. Let us learn more about response essay. What is a response essay? A response essay is a short essay which conveys the writer's reaction to one or several texts that he or she has read. This type of essay is usually given to students 
after they have read a number of articles or a work of fiction. Response essays are also very common, especially in business communication. In your response essay, you need to provide clear and polite statements while responding to every question that is directed to you. You have probably written many response essays before. Think about it. A response essay can be in the form of a letter, a message, a note, an email, blog, or a postcard. However, your responses should be supported by details, examples, facts, and evidences. Let's look at the screen. I have a diagram to help you remember what to include in your response essay. Here are some steps to follow when you are writing a response essay. What should you do? The first step is to find out the information needed by the original request or questions or emails. You need to understand the question and the contents of original text before you can identify the points to include in your essay. It can be in a form of personal experience, evidence from the text, or evidence from other texts. Now, let's look at how you can organize your points. Look at the screen. You need to have 1. Thesis statement 2. Topic sentence 3. Supporting details and 4. A conclusion Organizing your paragraphs for a response essay can be daunting at first. Be patient. We will get through this. The first thing you need to include in a thesis statement. A thesis statement gives you an overall idea of your essay. Usually, there is only one thesis statement in your response essay. Where can you find the thesis statement in an essay? Yes, you're right. It should be in the first paragraph so that the reader gets a general idea of the essay. The next item in the list is the topic sentence. A topic sentence states the main idea of a paragraph. It also gives the reader an idea of what you are going to write about in that paragraph. More importantly, a topic sentence gives direction to how your ideas will progress. A topic sentence is written at the beginning of the paragraph. A paragraph needs more than a topic sentence. You need to expand your ideas too. But how do you do that? You can give details and examples. Explain the topic and justify your explanation. Depending on the task that is given to you, you must convey the purpose of the task in each paragraph. For example, if you have asked to persuade the reader to agree with you, 
then you must write sentences that convey that intention in your paragraph. The last paragraph should be your conclusion. The conclusion of an essay summarizes all your ideas in the earlier paragraphs. The conclusion can also be in a form of advice, opinion, and suggestion. It is also important to have knowledge on the types of response essays. Now, let's learn more about this. The first type is the agree or disagree response. This type of response focuses on your reflection on a certain topic. State whether you agree or disagree with the topic and convince your readers. Provide examples and evidences. The next type is called the interpretive or reflective response. This response essay focuses more on the key idea or passage from a text that you have read. As a writer, you are required to interpret the idea and relate with your own background knowledge. The last type is called the analytic or evaluative response. This essay analyzes the elements of the text, such as the purpose, the audience, the thesis and main ideas, the argument, the organization, and focus, the evidence and the style. You need to ask critical questions when writing this essay. So now, let us recap what we know about response essays so far. Firstly, we know that there are three types of response essays. Agree or disagree response, the interpretive or reflective response, and the final type, which is called the analytic or evaluative response. We have also learned the organization of a response essay. When writing your response essay, you need to write your thesis statement, have topic sentences in paragraphs, and a concluding paragraph. Now, let us read this response essay by Maria. While reading it, I want you to think of the elements like thesis statement, topic sentences, and conclusion. We shall discuss these after we read this. Hi, I have been using Facebook for more than a decade now, and this app is famous worldwide. Despite the stigma that only older adults use Facebook, people from all walks of life continue to love using this app. The features on a Facebook page are easy to find, hence making this app user-friendly. We can look for news, people, or the latest product. On top of that, we could watch live sessions from entrepreneurs who pitch their products using the platform. The public are also able to inquire more information about the products during these sessions. 
In conclusion, this app is a very convenient app as it gives clear information to everyone before buying any product. This writer has written her opinion about using Facebook app to sell and buy products. Let's look at the text on the screen. Could you show me the thesis statement? Hi, I have been using Facebook for more than a decade now and this app is famous worldwide. So we know that this sentence is the thesis statement because it gives us an overview of the entire essay. Therefore, as we read the subsequent paragraphs, we know that we will get more details about the usage of Facebook and how it helps entrepreneurs to promote their items. Now, let's read the second paragraph together. Despite the stigma that only older adults use Facebook, people from all walks of life continue to love using this app. The features on a Facebook page are easy to find, hence making this app user-friendly. We can look for news, people, or the latest product. The first line mentions that the Facebook is actually loved by everyone since it is very convenient to use. This sentence introduces the idea that Facebook is a convenient app to use. This informs the reader of the main idea in the paragraph. We call this sentence the topic sentence. The next two sentences contain the examples that we use as supporting details to support our point. Where are the supporting details? Could you show me? Brilliant! The supporting details are Watch live sessions from entrepreneurs who pitch their products and the public are also able to inquire more information. Let us look at the last paragraph. We can write the words in conclusion at the beginning of the paragraph to indicate that it is the concluding paragraph but what matters here is the content in this last paragraph. You can see that the conclusion is brief yet compact. The last paragraph sums up the contents in the essay. So, that's how you write your conclusion. Let's read another perspective. Thank you for sharing. I do understand how you feel. However, I'm afraid I cannot agree with you on this matter since I prefer to use Twitter as a platform in my promotion. Twitter, in my opinion, is a more engaging platform to establish and share information about a product since the messages we send are short. The messages that people usually share are straightforward and contain important points which make the promotion clear to audience. Many people opt 
for a hassle-free approach to get things done faster. It is also an easy way for us to attract potential buyers. Can you identify the PC statement, topic sentences, supporting details, and conclusion in this response essay? You can fill in the gaps with TH for PC statement, TPS for topic sentence, SD for supporting details, and C for conclusion. Let me give you some time to do that. Are you ready to check your answers now? The answers are now on the slide. Let's check. Thank you for sharing. I do understand how you feel. However, I am afraid that I do not agree with you regarding this matter since I prefer to use Twitter as a platform in my promotion. That's TH. Twitter is actually a more engaging platform in establishing and sharing the information since the messages shared are short but meaningful. That's TPS. The messages that people usually share are straightforward and contain important points which make the promotion direct with the audience. And that is SD. In short, most people nowadays prefer to be hassle-free and always want to get things done faster. And therefore, it is easier for us as well to attract them in buying the product. And that's your C. Are you ready for another exercise? Fill in the gaps with TH for thesis statement, TPS for topic sentence, SD for supporting details, and C for conclusion. Thank you for your opinion, but I beg to differ. I have been using TikTok for more than a year now, and I find it very useful. TikTok appeals especially to the youngsters because they are more attracted to watch the promotions through the videos since they're more informative and fun. The videos have interesting filters and edit features which make it easier for me to create great content for the promotion where I could just add the important information to my video. To sum it up, TikTok is the best app to promote products since we should use creativity when producing advertisements. Now, let's look at the thesis statement together. The thesis statement clearly states TikTok as her preferred app choice to promote her products. In the next paragraph, we know from the topic sentence that TikTok appeals to youngsters. Well, what are the supporting details for this statement? Yes, you're right. Look at the screen. I have highlighted it for you. Finally, let's look at the conclusion. The writer uses the phrase to sum it up at the beginning of her sentence. 
This is also a clue to tell you it's a concluding statement. I would like to share some tips and strategies that you can apply when you are writing a response essay. Let's say you are given the task to respond to a text. What should you do? You can try out these steps. 1. Identify the author and title of the text. 2. Write points which summarize the text. 3. Highlight the key points. 4. Add direct quotations from the work to illustrate important ideas. 5. Summarize the points that you want to include so that the reader gets a general idea. Here is a practice for you to write a response essay. Now, take out your pen and paper, read the blog, and write a response to publish in Kamal's blog. Read what Kamal has typed in his blog first before you write your draft. Make sure you state your opinion clearly in your thesis statement. List your topic sentences and expand your ideas by adding supporting details. And make sure end your essay with a compact statement to summarize your thoughts. I have a blank template on the screen for your reference. This should be able to guide you. I guess that is all for today. In today's lesson, you have learned about the different types of response essays, the organization in a response essay, and learn how to write thesis statement, topic sentence, and conclusion. I also have shared with you some tips and strategies that you can apply when writing a response essay. Remember now, work hard and never give up. All the best. Bye-bye.